In this tutorial, we are going to look at where, where we can find some free Photoshop brushes, how to download them from the internet, load them into Photoshop, and use them. So what I've done here is I've typed in a Google search free Photoshop brushes, and many different sites show up. There's a lot of sites on the internet that have uh, sharing um, sites and places like that where you can get free Photoshop brushes. People like to share these things with each other. So there's one place right here called Brush Easy, and this is a place that I'm very familiar with. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And in it, um, there's brushes patterns, and we're looking at the brushes currently. And all of these are different brush sets that people have loaded on the site that are free for the taking. And there's 22 pages of these. So there's so many things here that it's not even funny. Here's one that is kind of interesting. It's called Phrenology Brushes, and that's quite cool. So I'm going to download that, and that downloads to my download file on my Mac, or wherever your downloads go to. And now I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open up my download file, pull that file out, and I'm going to unzip it, because this one came in zipped, and get rid of that. So here's what the brush file looks like. It's a little icon of a paintbrush with a little blue box underneath that says brushes. The file has to look like that. If you don't see anything that looks like that, sometimes you have to open up a file and pull that, the icon out. But that is what you're going to load into Photoshop. If that's not present, that means it's an older version of a brush for an older version of Photoshop, or it's a damaged file, or it's not there at all. But make sure that that is there. Don't try to load anything else into Photoshop, because it will not work. So now I'm going to open up Photoshop, and I'm going to go to my brush palette, and I'm going to open it up. And there's all of my brushes that I currently have in there, which is too many. I'm going to open up this little arrow on the right-hand top corner. And by clicking that open, it opens up a dialog box which has many different things in it, one of which is load brushes. So I'm going to click that. And when I click that, it asks, it wants to know where I would like to load the brush to. It defaulted right to, to my desktop, which happens to be where that brush is, but if it were somewhere else, if it were on your flash drive, if it were on, in your documents, wherever you put it, just go find it. And when you find it, highlight it and hit load. And that's really all there is to it. And now when you come down, the last brushes in the palette will be that set of brushes. And you'll see, I'll click one, and there it is, a chronology brush that I downloaded from the internet and loaded into my Photoshop. So it's as simple as that. Go explore. There's many brushes out there for the taking. You don't have to use every part of the brush. You can use parts of them, and you can combine different brushes together to come up with many different effects and create things that are uniquely yours. So, there we are.